Hi everybody, I'm Marcus Bean and of course this weekend is our virtual Ludlow Food Festival at Redford Barns in Shropshire. Not our normal location of course of Ludlow Castle because uh, this year of course we haven't been able to run any of our normal festivals and our shows because of Covid. Uh, we are asking for your support throughout this weekend and of course now going forward into December uh, allowing us to be able to, to make sure we can come back next year. We do need your support, uh, we need to raise 40000 by December to allow us to come back and the reason we do that is because we are a not-for-profit organization that means basically that of course everybody gives their time we all volunteer one of the things we wanted to do of course because we can't run our normal festival is showcase some of our incredible producers that come to the show that support us with products and of course share our online presence across social media uh, so my next guest uh, I've been dealing with and chatting to and using her product for quite a long period of time since I started cooking uh, ladies and gentlemen big welcome to the fantastic Sue from Netherton Foundry Hi, thank you so much for joining us first of all um, um, a bit of a weird one because obviously normally we are in the festival and we are in the castle aren't we so it's quiet isn't it it is it's calm it is. it's quiet yeah. i mean what would be the normal prep for you in terms of you know you would have been setting up when on thursday wednesday uh, yeah we'd have been spend a week getting everything ready packing wow. it into boxes getting up at stupid o'clock <laughs> to load the van and drive up to ludlow yeah and unload the van so yeah, it has its upsides. No van loading. Exactly. I was going to say, and you know, a lot of your products, which we we'll talk a little bit more about in a minute, are they're not they're not sort of light products. And and I've been and seen your stands before. You know, the stands are very visual. They've got a lot of products on, which you're going to talk about. You know, so it's a, it's quite a lot of labour of you know getting that set up and getting it ready and having it on display, isn't it? And it's got more of a labour as the years have gone on, and we've added to the range. <laughs> yeah. You know, I know it every was, year you yeah. get, every you, year there's something, there's something new. extra. Oh, they've made that one now. They've got <laughs> that one. I know. Yeah, you sort of. I suppose it's one of those things things that you're you're starting to do and develop all the time yeah. but that's good because it means that obviously you're listening to people you're taking on board you're changing and adapting um it is a shame as we said not to be doing Ludlow of course this year um we've said in that build up what would be there but why is you know why is Ludlow important to you as a producer oh wow well the very first Ludlow we did nobody knew who we were yeah. nobody had heard of us so it was a fantastic opportunity to tell the world that actually people are making Cookware, products, yeah. and they're making it in Shropshire. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, um, which is a massive, you know, massive huge, thing. Huge, yeah. huge, and it's a food festival, and we're all about cooking. Yeah, you know, we're not just a manufacturer. We're interested in what people are going to do with do. this stuff yeah. when they get it. Uh, everything that Neil designs comes home to me and yeah. gets used in our kitchen before Tested. anybody <laughs> yeah. else gets their hands on it. So, Amazing, you know. So and. It's that collaboration with other local producers. Yeah. You know? And how, how did it start with you? Because, you know, obviously we've got, you know, and I know the range and I've followed you over the years, you know, you've got a great range of products. How did it, how did you get into one deciding you were going to make a product and obviously do that in Shropshire and then, and then the development of it before? We were already in Shropshire yeah. making stuff for other people. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, okay. So, and it was made overseas yeah. and it had somebody else's name on it. Right. And I was looking for some new cookware because yeah. I had some that was coming to the end of its life. Yeah. And I couldn't find what I wanted. No. I've got a designer for a husband, so wow. I just said... <laughs> it's a handy yeah. thing to have. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, yeah. come on, you can do this. Yeah. <laughs> come on, we can do this. Wow. And he said, well, if you like it, maybe other people will like it. And that's how it started. And that's how it started, and it just grew. From grew there. and grew and grew. And what was the what was the first sort of thing or first product you started with? What was it? The very first thing we made was the cast iron slow cooker. Wow. And that is now a spun iron slow cooker. Yeah. But we've really moved away from the electrical side. Yeah. That was legacy from what we were doing yeah. before. Yeah. And it's now predominantly. You can see just from. The examples we've got here yeah. it's predominantly actual cookware now yeah yeah and i think um, the good thing we were chatting about earlier and you know in the technology and things that we have in different styles and of course kitchens now are going a bit more induction and of course all your cookware works on induction which is incredible but also as well it's not just about induction and cooking in the kitchen but you know a lot of chefs i know that follow you they cook on fire and they're cooking all over you know on a beach and they'll have your pan and they're roasting <laughs> so it's quite it must be pretty pretty exciting to see all that you know i know obviously it's been hard work and you networking and all that sort of stuff but it must, it's quite exciting to see it in lots of different areas as well it's fantastic to see people using it yeah. I mean, that really gives us a buzz yeah when other people are using it it's oh yeah it's great in my kitchen yeah. but you know <laughs> we see it as you say on a beach at a food festival yeah. in a restaurant 
being loaded onto a lorry to go to America or yeah. Canada or Germany or even to China. Yeah. You know, so we're, we first said we didn't want to be making stuff that got, was being shipped halfway around the world, which yeah. is what we used to do. Yeah. Except now we're shipping our stuff the other way. Well, uh, yeah, and I the think that's, there's and nothing that's, wrong with yeah, that. And no. I, I think sometimes we find with Shropshire is we end up having some great products, but sometimes it doesn't always reach the further afield because you know we're busy, we don't always have the time. But actually, if it naturally does that and people want it, then why not shout about Shropshire? Which is, you know, I think one of the things that the Ludlow and the Food Festival does really well is that connection. And I know you're exceptionally good at sort of you know the social media side of it and that interaction and that collaboration. And I always find, you know, again, you'll probably tell me different, but you know, you find that that mix and you know Ludlow seems to have that uniqueness doesn't it of collaborations and you know an element of where you can find someone meet someone and again I presume it's food writers it's chefs it's everybody now I'll tell you a story about Ludlow Food Festival we were packing up one I think it was a Saturday evening and we were just getting stuff ready and a very determined figure came striding (laughs) across the grounds to us and it was Val Stones from oh, right. Great British Bake Off. Yeah, yeah. And you, the people I need to talk to. <laughs> oh, God, what have we what done? Have we done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And she said, I want, and she then described exactly what she wanted in the way of a baking sheet. Wow. So she and Neil stood there with um, the back of one of our price lists yeah. and a pen and sketched it out. Amazing. And the Val Stones baking sheet was in production two weeks later. That's incredible. But what a talking story, of yeah. collaborations, as we were talking to Val, DJ Barbecue, yeah, the coolest dude on the planet, yeah, came that's it, the man rolling across and started chatting to Val because she'd done the Appalachian Trail yeah. to raise money for charity. He knows the Appalachian Trail, so I've got coolest dude on the planet yeah <laughs> and Val from Great British Bake Off yeah standing on our stand talking about recipes it, uh, and it's just you could you, not make it I was going to say there's there's moments <laughs> like that 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 makes the difference of things like Ludlow Food Festival where you're there and all those people are there and they all come at once and again when you're closing down yeah. you know all those moments just fit in you know and, and again then to then go away and of course design something create it and then produce it is is what it's all about yeah. amazing story love that love that yeah. um in terms of um the food festival and of course the local community i mean you're you're supplying a lot of shropshire chefs now but again nationally as well there's a lot around it um, is there any sort of new products that you're going to be bringing out and changing because as you said you're always adapting and doing different stuff we're always adapting we're always listening to what people want yes and this is Ooh, okay. the very latest edition um, we've been making Look at that. that 14 inch pan yeah. for ages. Mm. It's the Prospector pan story. There's a story behind the name as well. But every size up to this had a lid. Right, okay. And this one didn't, didn't have a lid. Okay. And we didn't have time. And we just said, yeah. oh, you know, who on earth wants a dustbin wants, lid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, but in yeah. actual fact, we've managed to find the space in lockdown yeah despite the mad panic buying yeah. panic buying get it yeah yeah uh despite all of that we managed to find the space to commission a local tool maker wow. and now we can make the lid that fits that amazing amazing yeah. and the great thing is of course that becomes a bit like a you know an oven we've got that lid yeah. on you can slow cook stuff you can steam yeah. it and of course great obviously at home but as we said it could be used in the barbecue oh, on the it fire. can be used <sighs> anywhere anywhere yeah. amazing um yeah. and, and well these iconic ones i see yeah. there's something under paper there which i'm sure you'll tell me about in a minute but what's this is the bread tin yeah yeah bread making bread or bread or loaf or everybody everything. started making bread didn't they they did you and couldn't buy during flour lockdown flour banana bread love the money. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah yeah couldn't make those quick enough wow. <laughs> they have Incredible. flown out of the door amazing absolutely flown out of the door this this yeah. is a bit special okay. and this is because Ludlow is September it's autumn yeah. we're thinking about the C word okay yes yeah. yeah yeah it's too early to mention it but Christmas is coming it, it always is yeah it's always there isn't it on the presents yeah. it's uh, coming along you need to be making your Christmas pudding oh right okay 
Oh, now that's a bit special. And I, I've now, just noticed, oh, this, yeah, is a, this is a copper yeah, range, if you haven't seen this before range. as well. Which is just lovely, isn't it? Because, I mean, you know, we all love, obviously, the star and the black, but actually to have that little bit of copper on there as well. That's not and a this, little bit of copper. It's, it's that a is a bit. lot of copper. This <laughs> is essentially, well, so you're calling this essentially that a... Is a a pudding bowl. Pudding bowl mould. Yeah, and look, look it's that. even got the, the notches ridges. for your string for oh, when you look steam at that. your pudding. That is amazing. And of course, now you should be, yeah, coming up soon, well, almost yep. sort of yep. soonish, making Christmas puds. Now, we've, we've said that th this is proper copper. Yeah. It's not copper paint. No. It's not a thin skim that is solid, spun from wow. solid copper. And the linings are traditional tin. Yeah. That this won't work on your induction. Right, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is tin that lining. That's beautiful, isn't it? The company who does the tinning for us, they're not Shropshire. Yeah. They're in the next door county, they're in Staffordshire. But still, yes, yeah, still They've local, been doing yeah. this for 201 years. Oh my goodness. They know what they're doing. They know doing. what they're doing, yeah, they exactly. They really know. It's the same family. Yeah. And the next generation are currently learning the business. Wow. So it's something that Netherton can aspire to. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think it's one of those ones, again, it, you know, even if you have to sort of go to do something or get someone to outsource, you know, using someone in, in neighbouring counties is, is not a problem. That's what we do, you know, generally anyway, yeah. you know, whether you're getting a produce from here and you're using it. So this is a Christmas pudding. This will be available on the website now, is it? Or it's is available it? on the website now. Amazing. Yes. Okay, good. So I like if this. you're not buying it for your Christmas pudding, put it on your Christmas present list. Exactly. Or even, to be fair, I mean, it's not, it's not a bad little whisking bowl, that, is it? No. Just to, you know, oh, a little bit of cream up nice yeah, on there and uh, uh, some goodness in there. Uh, in terms of lockdown, we were talking about, obviously, you know, for some businesses, it's been a bit harder, but actually you seem to have sort of thrived a bit online, really, during lockdown. I was chatting to you earlier and you said it's just gone crazy. People buying... Pandemonium yeah. pandemic. Yes, yeah. <laughs> All those people who were used to, you know, popping out for lunch, yeah. popping out for dinner. They're not spending those, th that sort They're of They're not spending income. that sort of money. They're cooking from home. Yeah. They're realising that they want nice food. Nice things, And to make yeah. nice food, you need Good nice pans. products, pans. yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's not just about supporting your local farm no. shop, yeah. which everybody should be doing. Yes. Please, yeah. please. Yeah, and I think but that's it's, the, it's a realisation of supporting local businesses, but also as well, it's, I think, like you say, people have gone maybe a bit more online, which is a good thing, but also as it allows, again, people like yourself who are based in Shropshire to sort of have that further reach field. And the great things about social media is it does have that sort of, you know, that sort of mirroring effect where one person buys it, they post, they're excited by it, they love the product, they then talk about it, you know, so it's it's that balance. And it, that's the biggest thing about not being able to run Ludlow this year is it's a real shame that we can't then showcase all those producers. And that's why we wanted to make sure we could have these little producer chats, talk to people like yourself who are, you know, sort of being able to support us going forward, um, which is great. And fingers crossed, if we manage to raise the 40,000 we need, we'll be back next year. Get your exactly hands in your pockets do. people exactly you need to do this raise it needs to some be there. funds exactly and i think exactly. also as well you know if we can balance that that you can go and visit of course that's found your website you can go and purchase products you can go and do these things and give support to our producers who would normally be at ludlow food festival and of course we can give that back as well but please go to ludlow food festival website click on donate all you need to do is just give as much as you want or as little as you want how whatever you've got to help us and support us to get through into next year so we can bring all our incredible producers including the amazing Edison <laughs> Foundry and their fantastic stand that takes them ages to set up. <laughs> but at the end of that day, they'll always have that one memory that we'll remember. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you, Sue, for coming and seeing us. Thank, Thank you for your for amazing products. And we'll see you again next year at Ludlow Food Festival. We will. We'll be there. See you later. Bye. Cheers, bye. <laughs> cool. I think that's good. Uh, let me just make sure it's all cut off.